G'day, I'm Ray Tomes from New Zealand. Welcome to this edition of Saturday Science Summary. It's about cycles um, and uh, how they appear in our lives in various ways. Uh, today I want to talk to you about cicadas who come about um, every 17 years in some cases and in other cases some of them are 13 years or 19 years. You may notice those are all prime numbers and uh, that's part of their trick. When I first saw cicadas when I was a kid, um, and uh, I thought I saw them lots of different years, not just um, very occasionally, and um, when, I, when I read that they only appear, uh, that they spend these vast number of years underground, like 17 years, and then pop up to mate, um, and then disappear again for all that time, I thought that's not right, because uh, we... Um, we, I'm sure we see them more often than that. Anyway, I found a little bit of information about uh, the New Zealand ones, uh, so I'll see if they are different or not. Um, but the, it's a, the trick is that they're trying to avoid uh, being eaten by predators. Um, so if you only come every occasionally, um, and it's a prime number, it's very hard for a predator to get itself synchronised um, to always turn up at the right time to eat you, and um, you're going to get awfully hungry in the meantime. Um, it's, it's more than that. They... Uh, they want to. Um, they come in such large numbers that the predators can feast th th themselves um, crazy on it, on them. And then um, there's still so many more um, that, that a lot of them get to reproduce and to carry on. So the predators just can't eat them all. There's too many. So that's so. Um, it's, that's how, how they're doing it. Uh, some of the information I'm going to give you now comes from the Princeton um, website, uh, Princeton University. Um, and uh, I'm going to read you a couple of bits. Um, in 1885, they sang for high-spirited schoolboys who wore black sweaters year-round and staged regular heists to steal the Nassau Hall bell clapper. So this is going right back in Princeton. In 1919, they sang for a more sober, square-shouldered company of students who had recently returned from the war in Europe. In 1970, they sang for a campus revolt. That year, the university gave honorary degrees to Bob Dylan and Coretta Scott King, icons of civil unrest. Dylan wrote Day of the Locusts about his experience at Princeton with the thrilling insects at the centre. Yeah, the locusts sang and they were singing for me. In 2004, when students were logging on, onto a new website called Facebook, they sang for my classmates and me. Today, in a reunion and commitment season that a pandemic has quieted, they sing once again for all of us who are here to hear them. You must be on campus to hear the cicadas properly. Try playing a recording on Spotify or YouTube or some nature website. Nothing you hear will come close to the layer upon layer of pulsing, buzzing music the cicadas ensemble performs on its open air stage. So all those um, different dates I gave you are at intervals of 17 years apart. And this is the year again where they've, um, where they've come back again um, uh, to Princeton.
The, um, the Princeton's uh, research laboratory worked out that cicadas sing so loudly to keep away predators. Their volume can reach around 100 decibels, the same as a chainsaw. And birds and bats and squirrels find this volume annoying and they risk damaging their hearing by exposing themselves to it for too long. Thus, as cicadas congregate in large numbers by mating, for mating, wrote the researchers, led by James Simmons, the loudness of their sounds drives birds and virtually all other visible animal life away. Why don't they deafen themselves? Uh, it turns out that they have got an arrangement in the, um, uh, that, that causes the sound not to be so loud for themselves. So um, they're quite clever little fellas, aren't they? It's only the male cicadas that make the sound. Uh, it's, they, are, um, they are trying to find a mate. They make the big buzzing sound. Females do make a little humming sound, and apparently you can fool the males into coming um, by making um, similar sounds to that. The, um, in 2004, um, the previous year where the um, alumni at reunions specifically Alums who had graduated 17 or 34 years earlier were talking about their cicada reunion, according to Tamara Broderick, uh, who attended the festivities. So this is um, um, this is a special article that I'm reading, which is called a cicada reunion. Uh, so the people who were there during one of the cicada bursts um, turn up again. Um, some of them, this came about because um, uh, um, Bob Dylan um, had talked about it and decided to have the scene of the reunion. Um, this is one
for other things. Uh, locust is a quite separate thing. They're a type of grasshopper, um, and there are plagues of them in the Bible and other things. Um, they're pretty much almost a plague when they come um, the present day, the cicadas, but they are a different creature. Um, another odd thing about them is they have five eyes. They have the two big bug eyes at the side and then three smaller ones in the uh, centre, in between those eyes, uh, which they think is for light sensitivity and such things. You see cicadas sitting on um, uh, trees and they uh, do um, stick their proboscis or whatever it's called into the tree and they suck out some of uh, the liquid there. Um, that's, that's their main, that's their source of food. Um, as a result of drinking that liquid, they do need to pee um, and um, they do it all over the place and, and uh, it makes, and apparently it's very sweet tasting. I'm not one that's going to try it um, and it's a bit like maple syrup. So um, that's, um, you can try it if you want, see. The 17-year or 13-year cycle of cicadas is not the same everywhere. So while uh, at Princeton we have the 17-year cycle coming up this year, uh, in other places it will come up in other years uh, and um, they may be... Um, the cicadas can even flip between the 13 and 17-year um, period. Uh, and the reason for that's believed to be that there's um, too many underground. Some decide, I'm getting out now, um, they were 17-year ones, they decide they'll get out after 13 years, it's too crowded here. There are annual breeds of cicadas as well, so not all of them do these uh, cycles. But of course, as cycles researchers, we're interested in um, this, this thing because it's quite unusual behaviour that we don't see in a lot of other creatures um, that they've developed um, to, to um, improve their chances of um, producing offspring.